Hello everyone, in this video we will see the simple test procedure to determine the solid content in chemical plasticizer or super plasticizer which we commonly refer to as SP. So we know a plasticizer or chemical super plasticizer SP is a chemical admixture that is incorporated in cementitious systems such as paste, mortar or concrete in order to improve its properties in order to improve the properties of the system so the improvement is with respect to the workability or the fluidity so we can say this in two ways so for a given water binder ratio the chemical this chemical plasticizer helps to improve the fluidity or in other words for a given fluidity this reduces the chemical admixture reduces the water requirement so first of all we'll see why it is important to know the solid content in the plasticizer so the plasticizer this chemical admixture or the sp that we obtain from the manufacturer appears in the form i mean it appears as if it is liquid but in actual it's a combination of both solid and liquid so there is a solid portion and there is a liquid portion and uh, we should note that uh, the solid portion is the only active portion that means the solid portion is the only portion that is really helpful to improve the properties whereas the liquid portion is just the water so you may consider uh, this water as a part of the water that we add into the concrete system from outside that is the water content what in the water binder ratio the amount of water that we consider so we can reduce that water considering the water that is already present in this plasticizer also so this is the reason we need to know the solid content and moreover when we talk about the dosage of the plasticizer we actually need to know or remember that the solid portion is the only portion that is active so when we talk about the dosage we should consider this solid portion instead of considering both solid and liquid and coming to the test procedure the test procedure is very simple so we know that the plasticizer we know now that the plasticizer has both solid and liquid so we take a known quantity of the chemical in the initial state which I have mentioned here as a wet state so a known quantity WW so for example you can consider 50 gram take it in a container the container which is okay to be placed in an oven at 105 plus or minus 5 degrees C so it's better to take some uh, metal container or a, a, st or, uh, a normal steel cup or a plate um, so a known quantity of plasticizer is taken in a steel plate then it is basically evaporated using an oven at 105 plus or minus 5 degrees C for a period of 1 to 2 days so we evaporate the water so what is left over is only the solid part and the weight of the solid part is denoted as W2 here so we take the chemical plasticizer and we evaporate the water and get only the solid content so we know by considering the oven dry weight and the initial weight we can determine the percentage solid it is very simple test procedure thank you for listening have a good day